Well, hello, everybody. Look who I'm staring at. I'll wait a couple of seconds for some folks to show up. It says we're live. And I'm looking at Adam Charles Kokesh. And I have been through No Force One, but Adam has not yet. So I want to welcome him home. First of all, welcome him home. And I want to show how wonderful it is when you get your home redecorated by the by the Texas State Troopers and to just kind of just bear your just prepare Document yourself. Document this evil, yeah. this criminal act. Well, before we do this, I got to say, you know, it's, it's been an intense 10 days. Uh, I've been uh, subject to a lot of sleep deprivation, so forgive me for not being at my sharpest at the moment, but uh, I do want to document this as at least uh, the next little installment of this episode. But uh, before we do this, I do have to say thank you to everybody who stood by me while I was locked up, to everybody who helped with call floods, to everybody who came out and protested at the, at the sheriff's office, at the Wise County Jail, and from what I've been hearing here, the experience that I had is sadly typical. And not just because here in, in Wise County they have some really offensive law enforcement practices, which really are criminal extortion practices, but um, this isn't the first time I've had my home turned inside out by the police. So this isn't new to me, but let's uh, let's survey the damage, shall we? Thank uh, you, Beth. Uh, 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 uh. It, it definitely did not smell like this. Hey, there's a freedom book. I think that was the one I was trying to give, oh, uh, God. give the officer. Oh. So there's garbage on the floor. There's garbage on, on papers. This is this is not a search. This is this is not the product of a search. This is a product of malicious property destruction. Oh, there's. Electronics in the sink. Oh my god. There's a tablet on the floor. I hope I don't have any hard drives missing. Oh, I, I, I will tell you. I know for a while. One thing I did where all of the cabinets were open and I closed them before I drove this. Every single one of them were, was wide open. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like. I don't even want to open the fridge. I just want to show people this is uh this is Baloo's this is where Baloo lives. <laughs> and for his sake, Baloo, if, if you ever watch this, <laughs> I'm glad you're not here to experience this. I'm gonna clean it up for you before you have to see it again. No. But, uh, this is this is my home, just so you all know. I've committed to a life on the road for the time being. And uh Bathroom, have you looked in the bathroom? It's, no, it's, this isn't the worst thing that someone can experience, but it is. A unique kind of personal violation. They threw shit in the toilet. What? There's not actual shit. They're not they're not just monkeys, but. It's hard not to get emotional after what I've been through in the last 10 days to, to, to think that, hey, I'm getting out of jail and it's going to be a relief and 
I mean, I knew it was going to be closer to this than, uh, than how it was when I left it. But it's clear that there was a certain degree of malicious intent in the search of this vehicle. And, uh, Don't get mad, get even. It's exactly what we're gonna do because this fight is a long way from over. The war on drugs is a war on you. It's a war on drug users. And it's all about control and exploitation But hey, it seems like it's the people on drugs who are winning the war, and this racket will not last forever. And I gotta say, Wise County, you fucked with the wrong Marine. And I'm gonna be back until justice is done, not for me, but to the residents of Wise County who are victims of the Texas State Highway Patrol here in this county with the help of the elected sheriff of Wise County, Sheriff Aiken, you know that you are complicit in this criminal activity. You are not a law enforcer. You are a law breaker. You are an oath breaker. You, sir, are a criminal more so than 90% of the people locked up in your county jail. And now the world is watching you, and they will know this injustice will not stand. And I will be back. And Wise County will know justice before I am done here. And I know... There's a lot more to be said, and maybe this isn't the time to get into all of this, but I know a lot of you who are watching right now, I know a lot of you who have supported my work throughout the years, do so because you've been victims yourselves, or you know someone who's a victim. We all know somebody. We all feel this pain. And I hope, I hope you take that as motivation to jump into this fight and help where you can. This war must end.